Is that no, it's it's important. Um, you know, obviously that first play we wanted to, you know, get to it and had some pressure and just didn't give him a ball. But I think, uh, you know, flushing the next play and playing each play individually is super important um, and creating rhythm and tempo as best as we can. I think this is start number 26 for you. Obviously, your first one here. After all those, what made you think different? What felt different? Shoot. Just the atmosphere, uh, the people. For me, it, it really didn't feel different other than, you know, I'm just playing with uh, a bunch of people that I truly love. And I had a great time doing it. You know, I have a, I have a lot of fun going out there and, and playing football. So, um, just just a lot of fun in general. You had spring in, you had, you had spring in training camp, right? but today's your first game action back in this offense. Did it feel like you love back in the Oh, it felt amazing. I, I missed it for sure, but it was, it was great just getting on the phone and hearing Coach Love's voice and then, you know, just having some familiarity with, you know, the, the plays we've been running. Do you have a better feeling coming out of this game as to how good this offense can be? I, I was always confident and knew, you know, we, we could play to the best of our ability and, and be as good as we want to be, you know, if we just continue to work and have decisions daily that, that are going to help the team out. And I think we have a lot of selfless guys and, and guys who really want to just contribute to this team any way they can. Um, and I think that's the beauty of that. And, and having a bunch of guys that can make a bunch of plays helps. So I'm really confident in our offense. We're going to let our actions do talking as always. And, you know, we just got to continue to get better every single week. Shoot, I, I loved it. Uh, I love the aggressiveness. Um, like I said, just got to gotta time it up better and got, and got to give them a ball. You play a lot of football, but are you nervous at all? Not nervous. You know, I'm extremely confident in the way I prepare. And, and of course, I get, you know, some adrenaline going when, you know, you run out the Sooner Nation. And that's a feeling unlike no other. But nervous isn't the word for sure. You mentioned the atmosphere. Was there a moment where you got to take it all in? I don't know if it was pre-game or after that first touchdown. Where you soaked it up? Uh, just, just coming out of that tunnel, and you can't really see much from the back, and then you just, you're going through it. Um, it's just a great feeling, and I had a lot of fun today, and I, I really will never forget this day for sure. That moment for Gavin there, touchdown around first time. Sweet. Um, just his first touch in college, being a touchdown and being a play like that, you know, getting collision and, and spinning out of it and making a play. Um, that's I go back to it. That's what I think is so unique about our, our team is, uh, at least our offense, is just having a bunch of guys who can make a bunch of plays. You mentioned that first toss that you had. I think it was like two plays later right back to Mark down the field. I mean, just... Is that kind of like a side relief moment, or like like a yeah, now we're getting ball rolling? Right yeah, just just continue to be aggressive and, and being a gunslinger. Um, shoot, play each play individually, and that's how I've always been. Is just being aggressive. I'm never being gun shy, and you know having fun while doing it. You guys showed how fast the offense can be, especially in that first quarter. Just how important was today to maybe setting a tone for the identity of the offense? Something we work every single day, um, but. Definitely when you get to live action, you know, being able to put good stuff on tape and go back and watch it and see how we can get better, faster um, with the tempo and then just being efficient. I think that's the, the biggest keys we'll be taking away. You get those two punts in the second quarter. Right, right, right. 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 What was kind of the difference between the quarter and the just being able to get it back on? I think the biggest thing is penalties. You know, pre-snap penalties obviously hurt and then you know, sacks or, or negative plays naturally put you behind the chains and it's just a little more difficult. I don't think it's um, something we can't get our way out of, but we got to be a lot more efficient than that. And that starts with me and then just making plays on, on third and long. You know, that's where, you know, people make their, their money in, in moving the chains and finding ways to move the chains. I mentioned this is a memorable day. What was your favorite part of today? Sue just suiting up in the, the Sooner uniform. Um, uh, I know it's something that, you know, holds a huge responsibility on my end, and um, I'm just super humbled to, to be able to do so. It's another opportunity. Um, just stepping back on the field was a great feeling, and 
just overall, um, like I said, this would be a day I'll, I'll never forget. You guys won this game by a pretty wide margin, but there was a point where you have got some momentum there in that second quarter, you ended, I think, 20 last 10. I mean, just how important is that moving forward to have a moment like this, you know, and what was kind of your message to the team then? Sure, and Coach, Coach said it before the game, and he said adversity is going to hit, and you know, how we deal with this is going to be important. And I think, you know, that little small sense of adversity, seeing the way guys bounce back, making adjustments, you know, because not everything's going to go perfect. Um, although we strive for it, you know, you're going to fall short sometimes. And just having that intent, um, being smart and making the necessary adjustments, um, I think that was the, the most important thing for us. Jerry called you out. He said he's getting tired and telling him to slow down. Can you talk about how you keep the communication with all your guys with such a high temperature? Biggest thing is is getting the call, giving them time to to get set, because once Raym is hand on hand on ball, I'm snapping it. Um, I don't know what time it is in between, but feet set, we're snapping it. Hand on the ball, we're snapping it. So, um, eg, ah, he's a funny dude, but um, he's always the refs like don't place the ball. He was just tired. Tired. Um, that tempo is different, but I think it's, it's something, you know, just about our game and, and setting the tempo, being the aggressors, and um, really playing how we want to play. Was it strange because you guys are playing so fast? And then UTEP sort of took the ball out of the air, so you'd play, you'd be out there for two or three Earth minutes, then you go sit down for 15 minutes. It is, it is different. Um, I'm used to it, but. I think when you get to a game setting, I think it's good for our guys to, to feel it is you may score in 30 seconds and be waiting for five minutes or six minutes. And it's important to stay warm, staying, you know, locked in, finding ways to, you know, continue talking through things, making adjustments, um, drive to drive. Um, but I think we handled it well. Um, you know, obviously adversity hit, but finding ways to be more efficient, find ways to, to score every time we touch the football and move the chains is going to be important. Talk about your family being in town. Just what does this, I guess, weekend mean for you, knowing you're going to get that time, have your first game? What's all that like? Shoot, it, it means the most to me um, just because I, I don't really get to see them much and I love them to death. You know, and they're truly my, my joy and my happiness. So it's going to be really good to see them after this. I haven't seen them yet, but knowing they're in the sand somewhere uh, makes me feel really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, friends and family.